Hey guys on YouTube. All right, uh, I need to talk about this one thing that just happened today. Uh, Neymar Kurt being released from the UFC, failing to, uh, passing a physical uh, inspection from uh, before the fight. He's now cut. Uh, you know, Dana White sounded very serious about the move. But you know, this is what I'm going to talk about: how it affects, if it, how you know. It, I'm saying it doesn't affect UFC once, what, like whatsoever. You know, UFC has done this before. You know, you know, uh, look at uh, Paul Daly. You know, Paul Daly uh, gets cut from the UFC uh, after a post-fight incident, and you know he's 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 out now. He he was out fighting for the Strikeforce uh, welterweight championship against Nick Diaz. It doesn't affect one thing, and UFC continued going on. Um, you know, Neymar Quartz being, him getting cut, you know, it removes, you know, another guy, you know, we all love, Nate the Great. Uh, you know, he was 10-4, you know, I don't get, well, one thing I don't get is why he was cut in the first place, you know. Even though he didn't pass the medical, I don't get, you know, his record was, and the UFC was pretty solid, you know, 10-4 in the UFC. He's fighting high competitions, you know, he has wins over Dean Lister, Jeremy Horn, Marn Kamen, Wilson Govea, Damian Maia, Rose near Paula, Paula Harris and Dan Miller. Top guys, you know. Those are top guys. He beats all those guys and he gets and he gets cut. It doesn't make sense. The thing is also, you know, he always choked at big fights. His fight with Mushino Kami. Uh, I he was predicted the winner by a, a lot of analysts. He lost. Uh Chael Sonnen. We didn't I didn't think Chael Sonnen was gonna pull off a fight. You know, I thought Neymar Marco would pull off would pull off, you know, this decision, but it was different, you know. Chael Sonnen won the decision, it, and you know he was in. He has been in two title, uh, middleweight title eliminators, and he is 0-2 in both of them. You know, UFC obviously isn't for him. He is not going to be a champion in the in you know in the Ultimate Fighting Championship if he cannot choke. If he can't stop choking, the middleweight or uh, the welterweight cut was you know his only way of getting an advantage. You know, MMA you need as much advantages as possible. You know, you see guys like Rampage Jackson who is, you know, huge for light heavyweight, but he stays there. He could fight at 235, but he decides not because he'd be he's small for the weight. Um you know, uh who else? You know Anthony Rumble Johnson, a great example. He walks around at two twenty five and he fights at what weight? One seventy. You know, that is fifty five pounds to cut. He does that because he wants an advantage. Uh, Tiago Alves walks around at 205 and flights at 170. He's thinking him. He's probably going to make the move. He's making the move to middleweight, but you know, because he's tired, but of you know, of tired of walking around that way. But he did it because he knew he had an advantage. He needs the UFC fighters need as much advantages as possible. Now, Nate Marquardt getting cut. He tried the advantage, failed to make the, failed to make the, uh, phys, failed to do the, the, failed the physical, uh, clearance. He's gone. I wouldn't be surprised if Bellator picks him up. You know, he can't fight Zufa. He won't be fighting in Strike Force. Zufa is it's owned by Zufa, and Dana White isn't the complete owner. Scott Coker is still the owner, but you know, Dana White will object to him fighting. You know. Paul Daly was fighting in Strike Force before he got bought, so that's why he's still there. He still is under contract. Dana White can't do a thing about it. But he can do with Nate Marquardt. Nate Marquardt, I'm going, I'm saying he's going to Bellator. So, uh, I'm going to end the video right now. I'll see you guys later. Please comment. Please tell me what you think about Check out my Twitter uh, in the description below. Check out uh, MMA Socialist, who I report for. Uh, in the description below. I'll see you guys later. Peace.